another webisode on godly dating and i wanted to talk about keeping it real or keeping it 100 off top now i know some of you all would agree with me that one of the most important components of trying to build a new relationship is honesty but i want to know how honest are you really being with the person that you're trying to get to know now when i first started dating again and getting back in the game I was surprised to find that people do not keep it real off top and keeping it real and being honest saves you time and me time like when you don't tell the truth about certain things you're not giving a person a fair chance to decide if you're really that person that they want to be with or if whatever it is you're hiding or lying about is something that they could deal with so not only do you owe it to the person to be honest but you owe it to yourself and the truth is going to come out anyway eventually the word does say the truth sets us free now that's that's in the word that's not that's not a cliche saying that people just say it's actually in the bible so it's important to be honest up front for instance i have children when i and when i meet somebody that's one of the first things i say i do have children because this might be something people can't deal with and, that, and that's that's their preference that is not for me to decide well i wanted you to get to know me first and then i was going to tell you later that's not fair on them everybody is entitled to their own preferences as well so i'm not gonna get with the person and have them start liking me and catching feelings then i just hit them with the oh yeah i have kids so let me give you all an example um i recently knew someone who who started dating a girl and he really liked this girl they were dating for about six months and they really hit it off and she came out and told him that she had lied about something what she lied about was her age her reason behind that was well i thought if i told you in the beginning you wouldn't want to date me so he eventually a couple of weeks later he did break up with her he couldn't he couldn't take the fact not only that she lied but yeah that was the one thing that was going to cause him to not date her so because she was too young for him there were things she couldn't do that he could so i'm just using that that as an example of of why you need to be honest because they she could have saved them six months when you call yourself trying to say well i thought you know you wouldn't you wouldn't choose me because of this and then it turns out yeah they wouldn't so that's selfish on your behalf if you're lying trying to look out for yourself and people we got to be careful of people like this because because that is a selfish trait and they'll consider themselves before they consider you also that's a that's a character flaw that should let you know you need to go back to the drawing board and work on your character and integrity if you feel like you have to lie and hide things and maybe let a person know later once they get to know you that's not fair and that's dishonest and again we're talking about godly relationships here and we're trying to build on solid foundations so we got to keep it real up front and i don't know about y'all but when i lie i look like i'm lying I go to sweating and like, whoo, whoo. Anybody else hot in here? Oh, I'm parched. Hmm. Anybody got some awkward? I can't lie well and I forget what I said. If I lie, you could ask me the same thing tomorrow. I'm gonna be like, what I tell you yesterday? I'm gonna have to ask you what I said because I forgot to lie. So why do that to yourself? Why get caught in a tangled web of lies when you could just tell the truth, be honest, and the truth sets you free. I feel free when I tell the truth. And I use my kids for an example. So if someone decides, well, I like everything about her, but I just, I'm not, I can't do the kids. Good. I told them that off front. We didn't waste months and months of time. And they just, and, and no feelings got involved and no, no hearts got involved. So we saved ourselves some time life goes on the world keeps turning there's millions of people out here if a person doesn't like you for one thing guess what they're not for you just accept that and move on there are other people out here and god will send that person who will accept those flaws or those things that you're trying to hide if, if anybody knows me I, I am kind of vocal on this and i almost i despise social media for many reasons but it can be good for different reasons like what i'm doing now you can spread the good we're not gonna give the enemy all the credit there are good things happening through social media. the word of god is growing and people are turning to christ people are looking for answers and they're finding it through social media posts they're finding inspiration but i just hate what it's become the vanity the the fake lives like so this is what this is another thing i feel we should 
be honest about. Now, I don't per se think it's anything wrong with taking care of yourself and all this photo shopping and all of this. The truth gonna come out. This person has to eventually see you. The makeup has to eventually come off. So, men, the hats got to come off eventually. Stop trying to hat fish folks out here. I need to see what's up under that hat. Just be honest. Be, be the true you. Be as honest as you can. And it's so hard today in this society because we have all these celebrities people are trying to emulate and trying to make it like your life is this certain kind of way. That's why I just, I stay off of social media now. Sometimes I go on there and then, but... I barely even post anymore just because of what it's become. All of this vanity and um, boasting. But, and and it just makes you somebody you're not. It just, it just, it's just causing you to be somebody you're not. It's causing these women to want to enhance their bodies, po stand a certain way, hold the camera a certain angle so they look a certain way. Then you meet them and you're like, wait a minute, hold, hold on. That is not you. That is not who are you. So... Just know who you are and be the real you. Save a person time. Be honest up front. I remember this one time I met a guy. We had a lot in common. We had good conversation. But come to find out, he was not a believer. He had read the whole Bible, but he was not a believer. And, and my thing was, we have to be equally yoked. That's what the word says. And I'm not settling. So you all might have heard me say I've been single for five years, but one thing you can learn off of me, I'm that most happiest, content person you will ever meet. And you all will learn something because I don't care if I have to wait two or four more years. I pray it ain't that much longer, but I'm not going to settle. I'm going to wait on God and you all, you all going to see the fruits of that, of, of what waiting gets you. Either being content and happy or or that God sent will finally come. And I believe that. I believe and I trust in God. So when something isn't for me, no sense in wasting time. Let's be honest. So anyway, we um, we hit it off. He wasn't a believer. And I, I just let him know, look, it's not going to work out between me and you. I think you're a nice person. But we have two different belief systems. And that's going to get in the way. So we don't even need to pretend like this is going to work. We don't need to keep talking. We don't need to keep doing anything. Let's just end this now. You know what? He respected me for that. People respect you for being honest and not wasting their time. It saves you and that person time. So keep it real up front. And you don't got to be rude because I'm such a straightforward person that sometimes it used to come off as rude. But come on now. We have Christ in our hearts now. We have the Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us. We don't have to be rude. We, we know how to speak the truth in love. We know how to... um just let the Holy Spirit lead us and say what we need to say and and not lead people on and not cause them to believe you're somebody that you're not. Also, the Bible says that, that the issues of life flow out the heart. So that means we need to be protecting our hearts and protect and trying to help protect other people's hearts because everybody isn't discerning as, as others. So some people won't know that you're not being honest until it's too late. And their hearts have gotten involved. And then, then you have to carry the, the burden of, oh, I, I've hurt someone now. I've lied to them for this long. Now I've hurt them. So let us come out from among them and be separate. Let's be different from other people. Let's be Christ-like. Let us exude the character of Christ by being honest and laying the cards out on the table. I'm not saying you have to tell someone your all of your business, but... You, and you could discern that too, what you need to tell a person when. But if it looks like it's going in a certain direction, the important things that can make or break um, a relationship, let them know. If you have kids, let them know. If you're not on fire for God, you don't have to pretend to be. Don't start off the relationship, God bless your sister, and trying to send, send her text message, her scriptures uh, that you probably got off the internet yourself and didn't actually read. And don't pretend like you you're all into the word and then a couple of months later we find out that you're really a clubber and, and and you only go to church every blue moon or you barely do it all you barely open crack open your bible but you crack open your alcohol like let that be known let a person decide because the truth is gonna come out the truth what's in the dark is gonna come to the light it's gonna be revealed soon and, and let's not waste each other's time so all right guys i hope you all are learning to be discerning Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. I hope you're learning to be truthful. 
I hope you're learning not to settle. And I will continue on with my dating series. We have a lot more things to talk about. And email me if there are any questions that you have or any topics that you would like to tackle. And if you haven't already done so, like, subscribe, comment, share, and be blessed. Greatest of all.